Good day and welcome to Rejoice and See with Ty and Betsy Tice. Our podcast today is Expect God to Grant Your Miracle. We're going to begin with Luke 9, 12 through 17. And when the day had begun to wear away, then came the twelve and said unto him, Send the multitude away, that they may go into the towns and, co- and country round about and lodge and get victuals. For we are here in a desert place. But he said unto them, Give them to eat. And they said, We have no more but five loaves and two fishes except we go and buy meat for all this people? For they were about 5,000 men. And he said to his disciples, Make them sit down by fifties in a company. And they did so, and made them all sit down. Then he took the five loaves and the two fishes, and looking up to heaven, he blessed them and brake, and gave to the disciples to set before the multitude. And they did eat, and were all filled. And there was taken up of fragments that remained to them, twelve baskets. Today's Bible reading establishes that Jesus has power to meet the needs of his people. Even if it means multiplying what is humanly available. It is the famous miracle account of the feeding of the 5,000 men in addition to women and children. Even though they started with five loaves and two fishes, after everyone was fed, there was still 12 baskets left over. Wow. Today's story. It was nearing Christmas in our second church, and Pastor Ty's mom had made gifts for the children. They were handmade Raggedy Ann and Andy dolls to be distributed to the boys and girls. When the time came to pass out the presents, there was a problem. Mom and a couple of other ladies in the church had made 11 dolls for the 10 children that were anticipated to attend. The 11th doll was an extra one in case an unanticipated visitor came. Somehow, however, 12 children had come. The dolls were in a bag and had been carefully counted. There were 11. We were one short. What should we do? Pastor Ty decided that we should start passing them out, just as in the biblical account. Lo and behold, every child received the doll. We could not explain it except that God had miraculously provided for the extra precious child who had come. Oh, how Jesus still loves the little children. Philippians 4.19 says, But my God shall supply all your need according to his riches in glory by Christ Jesus. And today's prayer is, Lord Jesus, let your faith and compassion flow through us to meet the needs of your people. And Father, that is our prayer, that each person that's listening to this podcast today, that their miracle is literally on the way. There is no substance that you cannot increase. There's no need that you cannot fulfill. And my friend, today, as you're listening to this broadcast, I would like you to take a moment and just say, Lord, this is my need. This is the miracle that I need. And then wait, and with that grain of a mustard seed of faith, say, Lord, I believe. I receive your miracle and then expect it. Don't let Satan take it away from you. Don't let doubt and fear trip you up. 
but know that with God, all things are possible. And he promised he will meet your need. God bless you and go with you this day. According to his riches, according to his riches, according to his riches, he will supply all I need. His riches have no limit. His riches have no limit. His riches have no limit. He will supply all I need. I'll put my trust in Jesus. I'll put my trust in Jesus. All I need According to His riches According to His riches According to His riches He will supply